Betty Chai is one of millions of gamers playing Dota 2, one of the most popular video games in the world. We won! I was introduced by my younger brother. We only had one. I'm gonna go turn the heat up and then. When I want to use the PC, I have to wait for him to finish. So one day I asked him, What is this it's game? Been a while. And he said, Oh, this is Dota. In my high school days, I think I play about 10, 11 hours. Right now, just five hours. For years, Betty's devoted herself to the game, and now she's not just a fan, she's semi pro. Most of my real life friends, they are like lower rank than I am. Which is kind of sad because they don't want to play with me. They say it makes the game not fun for them. I'm trying to be humble. Okay, chat. Yeah, here's it. Here's it. One thing to explain okay, before this video even continues. Set, um, at Dota, I think, is like an extreme meritocracy, right? Compared to other esports, like it's very feast or famine, where if you don't perform well and if you don't do well, you uh, you don't make money, right? You, um, you, ha you have to you have to you have to clap and you have to actually win to to survive. The people who don't perform, who don't do well, do not survive. Because other esports are like esports orgs and and bought in slots and licensing and shit or whatever uh, and, and franchising and people people are bought in and people can can play like shit and they can still have a salary have a team. But Dota isn't like that. It's just not. Because because the way the uh, the price was structured and with the esports, dude, the, you 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 clap, you win, you get money, or you're you're, you're broke. The number of female gamers is growing rapidly, especially in Asia. According to games analyst Newzu, nearly half the world's gamers are now what? female. But there's a problem. Whilst there are plenty of successful female gaming influencers, very few players like Betty are making it to the very top of the competitive side of gaming, esports. I'm earning just a bit, but uh, I've taken like a few projects from like streaming partners. It's how I managed to survive, I guess. Dota 2 has the most lucrative esports scene going. Champions become millionaires. Wait a minute. No female professional players have ever won a world championship, and very few have even made a living. Of the more than $200 million awarded so far in Dota 2, only 0 0.002. Trust me, trust me. Competitive. Yeah, this is my take. Competitive gamers don't give a shit. Okay, people, people at the top, they don't give a shit where you're from. They don't. They, they, they don't care if you're if you're male, a female. They don't. They don't give a shit. If if you if you if you're good and you show something that, that they want and they and that makes your team better, you're you're gonna be in. That's that's just that's about it. I, I dude, I wouldn't give a fuck, and it never it, it never mattered. Trust trust me. But how ratty a, 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 a top players are. All they want is to fucking win. They want to win. If you're it's not good enough to put in, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna give value to the team, you're not in. That's just how it is. Percent has been won by women, and it's not just Dota 2. No women have ever lifted the biggest trophies or won the biggest prize purses in any esport, and it looks like 2021 will be the same. Research from esportsearnings.com, shared exclusively with the BBC, found that there are no female players in the top 100 all-time earners, or the top 200. You have to go all the way down to 338th to trans player Scarlet to find a female player. Yeah, that's The next female top earner isn't until 680th. So why are there so few women at the top of esports? Let's ask some who are climbing the ranks fast. So I've been playing video games since I was uh -oh. six. Guys, I've been playing competitively since I was sixteen. Valorant was my guys, first real. Guys, another hot take, guys. I don't think the public is ready for the truth about some of this stuff, and I think um, having takes that are reasonable now uh, won't be taken uh, the right way now. I think uh, pe people just aren't ready. Um, like competitive esports. The thing I love most about competing is just like finding a group of people that I really click with. I just like to play competitive games because I get a rush out of them. Cloud9 White are dominating all other female teams in a game called Valorant. Oh my god! Team A's. They have big ambitions. It can be like a 10 to 14 hour job daily, but it, it is a, a lot of hard work. I think right now our best bet is beating tier 1 teams and showing that we can compete at that caliber. Tier 1! But given more time, a year or two years, I think we can 100% be competing at the high echelon of play. They think women are being put off because of a misogynistic and immature culture in grassroots gaming, something female gamers are increasingly highlighting online. 
Why are guys so unoriginal with their smack talk on Call of Duty? Go back to the dishes, bruh. Search and destroy. Good job. Hey, go back to the Cynical secure. Have my f***ing kids. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> People are especially sexist in game towards women and make so, yeah. comments, and I think. As, as, uh... that it's easier for us because we know we're successful and we know we have accomplishments but like women every day just get like literally harassed in the game and it's really difficult to play in that environment just on the day to day True. like if you're a girl you don't you don't get the luxury of just having a bad game it's like because you're a girl it's something betty also says she's experienced i love you i love you <laughs> like most games it goes two ways so one is they will say oh my god babe i love you this kind of Weird stuff like they never seen a girl in their life. Sometimes it's like a toxic one. A They'll be like, "Oh, a woman, a go back to the a kitchen." Woman. So pretty general trash talk. So there's mixed views about how to encourage more women into esports. One idea that's been trialed by Formula One esports this year is to guarantee a female well, player a spot. Well, it's not. I don't think it can really be an idea. It's just. It's just. Um. It's just a culture behind it, and it's. It's. It's gonna. It's gonna be a gradual change. It's it's gonna it's gonna take a lot this year. It's to guarantee there's, I don't think there's a golden player, solution. A spot in high profile tournaments. Others think the only way to get women onto the biggest stages is to split esports into male and female competitions entirely. But not everyone agrees. So so you're saying that you wouldn't want there to be a division where women can't play against men? Oh, that'd be but horrible. I wouldn't play the game if that was the case, um, personally. <laughs> Tell, tell me why, can you explain that? At the current scene right now, I think all of us individually would be like, that would, it wouldn't be fun. Like we wouldn't have any competition or if we just only had to play against other women's teams, that's just um, like the point of uh, me playing every day. This argument is a little bit shallow, I think. It, it, it's a little bit shallow. I feel like, I, um, the, the, I don't know. They assume to improve that I just wouldn't be doing that. C9 White says a solution could be to encourage more gaming organizations to give female players as much support as their male rivals. I think it's really important to have like a really quality approach to it where you support these teams with the resources they need. Not well, I was going to say shout out because hey, um, Mr. Cow, guys, I hope you are having a good night. Hey, guys, guys, aren't they in like an esports team or whatever? I mean, these are like supported, a uh, salaried uh, uh, players or whatever. So, so of course there wouldn't be any competition because, uh, but if the infrastructure, uh, if the infrastructure, infrastructure what, what was more established and people had more opportunities, I mean, they, they would get competition in, in like two or three months or whatever. And, and they would get, they would probably be, even probably get, start losing a lot. Uh, that's My just kind of how it is. I think it's really important to have like a really quality approach to it where you support these teams with the resources they need not just like the exposure and just signing the team but also having like a coach a secondary coach like an analyst a really good manager just a lot of support from the org in general and then i mean if you just get that one team to succeed it's like similar to when the four minute to mile got broken to... when no one had done it before like and then one person does it and then following that it's like dozens more people just the next year are suddenly able to do it as for betty she hopes to one day become a full-time pro but what she really dreams of is seeing a woman, any woman, lift that Dota 2 trophy. Like five okay. years ago. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, that was actually really good reporting by BBC. I think they report, they report, see, this is what you want to see. I, I actually enjoyed this because they're not going the route of like, but why? But okay, but all these teams, there's 20 teams, not one woman, okay? Why not just put one in then, huh? Why not? What up? And, and it's, they're just, he's just presenting the facts and he's not presenting, he's presenting the problem objectively well, and not, it's, uh, impossible. it's not opinionated. But it's a really, it's really going to be good if someone does that. Because that's what people have been, been, that's what people have been doing though lately though. Everywhere dude. Oh, why is there no women in esports? Okay. Why are they gatekeeping? Just hire one. Oh, oh, that one wasn't hired. Right? Because she's women? Um, no. Um, that, that one, that one you're, you're pointing at? This is an example. Well, she wasn't hired because um, she wasn't good enough. Oh my god! Are you saying she's not good enough because she's a woman? Well, no. I mean, she's objectively not good enough. Oh my god! It's like, dude, it's like a, it's like a really weird circle. I, I, I hate this.